are you guys doing? Hopefully you can hear me and see me well. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you so much to everybody who has checked out my videos. Thank you guys so much um, to the people who may have subscribed. Thank you for the new subscribers. All right, so let's get started. There's that starting again, right? So, on uh, my last video, I talked to you guys about basically just starting, uh, getting started. Um, and even for today, for myself, I had to get started. I was thinking um, to myself, uh, well, you know, I could do it later. I'll just do this video later. I haven't been feeling 100% of myself. So, of course, procrastination was like, hey, you're, you know, you're not feeling like 100% yourself. So, you can always do this later. And I'm like, no, I'm going to do this now. So sometimes the best time to do something is when you don't want to do it, to go ahead and do it. And that's usually when things turn out amazing. Um, we can think of so many reasons why we shouldn't do something. Um, and sometimes even starting for some people is a little bit easier. But for some people, it's to continuing to do what you have started. That is sometimes the hardest thing to do. And that's sometimes the hard part. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be uh, making sure that we continue what we start, um, seeing it through. What's the point of starting if you're not going to see it through? You're not going to see the end. So you start it. Let's see how it's going to turn out. So let's see what's going to come of it. Let's see what's going to come of continuing. We start it, so let's continue it so we can see it through. Starting doesn't really tell you how something is going to end. Um, starting doesn't determine how you're going to finish something. So in order to find out how things would turn out and how it's going to be, you got to continue. So that's sometimes the part that some people just don't do or find hard to do is being able to continue. So as I was even telling a good friend of mine is that that's what I'm here for. I'm here to hold your hand, um, to be here with you every step of the way to help you see this thing through. And in return, you're helping me see through what it is that I'm called to do. So it's like a win-win for you and for me. You know, we both winning. There's nothing wrong with that, right? That's what it's about. Making sure that everybody who wants to win, wins. Not everybody want to win. In all aspects of honesty here, not everybody wants to win. Some people um, sit back and watch other people win. They get jealous of other people winning. But in, in, if they really think about it, they can win too. But a lot of people choose not to win. They choose to sit back and just watch other people and watch other people enjoy life, watch other people do what God has called for them to do, and watch other people complete their goals watch other people start and continue um i used to think the starting was the hardest part um and in some for some people i think it is but for some people it's being able to continue and for some people is once they've started and they have those things in their hand they have the vision actually in the hand your vision's like your baby they have it then they're wondering okay how do i go about presenting this like how do i go about marking this how do i go about my presentation of my baby you know it's like um being so excited at first when you know you find out you're pregnant if you ever been pregnant and then once the months go on you're like Ooh. you go from saying oh you when people are saying you're like oh you're pregnant congratulations you're like oh, no. thank you so much i'm so excited i'm so excited and then it goes from you know a couple of months go down the road they're like oh congratulations you're like yeah thank you then it goes from that to they're like, congratulations on the baby. When you're about six months, you're like, yeah, thank you. Then it goes, <laughs> and it goes on, especially if it's in the summertime. So the joy kind of leaves. You know, it's excitement at first, and then sometimes along the way, that excitement leaves. Because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to steal those ideas. He comes to steal your joy. Um, because a lot of people do things when there's excitement in it. A lot of people try their hardest when um, there's excitement in it. Even in relationships, you know, sometimes when you're first in a relationship, it's so great. People give their all, they go all out. It's because they're excited. So that's what I'm here to do to help you keep that excitement. Because when you have that excitement, you continue to keep going. It makes you want to keep pushing. It makes you want, want to continue to push out your purpose. It makes you want to continue when you are excited. So I'm here to help you continue. I'm here to help you stay excited. I'm like your hype coach. I'm like your cheerleader on the sideline, motivating you, pushing you, saying, go, 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 go. You got it. You got to push, push, push through. So I'm basically like that hype woman. You know what I mean? 
I'm here to hype you up. I'm here to keep you hyped about what God has called you to do. Just like you're excited in the beginning, I'm here to make sure you stay excited all the way until the finish. So I'm here basically right here with you cheering you on on the sideline or even or even I can get in a game and play with you and hold your hand with you while you push through whatever God is calling you to do so that's what I'm here for because it doesn't matter what other people say is what did he say just like my shirt says here that I had made one of my quotes it doesn't matter what they say what did God say so whatever God said, God knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb. He already knew what he had called for you to do. He already know what he wants you to do. The question is, do you know? Do you know and do you God has called for you to do? Doesn't matter if other people believe it. Doesn't matter if they see it. They don't have to see it. It's not their vision. The only person that has to see what it is that they're trying to get to is the person that's trying to get to it. So if they're not the ones trying to get to what, what God is telling you, it doesn't matter if they see it. It's like if you're trying to go somewhere or go get something, or if I'm trying to get this clipboard that's across from me, you don't see it. But it doesn't matter if you can see it or if you can't see it.